Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture of computer graphics. Today we are going to try and answer the question, what is computer graphics? And uh, this is a tricky question to answer because graphics is so many different things uh, that it is very difficult to pin down and answer this question. So we are going to try and answer a slightly different question which is potentially easier to answer. And this question is what is computer graphics used for? The reason that this question is simpler is because um, I'm sure each one of you knows a couple of different things that graphics is used for. So, uh, and by going through these things, uh, we will probably come to some understanding of what is computer graphics. So, one of the most common things that graphics is used for is animation. And one of the most visible forms of animation out there is cinematic animation. Um, so graphics is used to create some beautiful animation films like uh, this one shown here, Ernest and Celestine, where graphics has been used to create uh, the character of this mouse and this bear and to tell a really touching story. Another very common use of computer graphics is in special effects. So here is the bullfighting scene from Bahubali 2 and uh, we can see here uh, that on the um, in, in the studio what was actually shot was this actor with a prop of a static prop of a bull uh, in front of um, in front of a light green background um, which is called a green screen right um, and uh, then this prop of the bull was replaced by an uh, animated bull and finally the green screen was painted over by a realistic looking background everything was composited together uh, proper lighting was uh, introduced and you get the final scene. Another example of uh, special effects is from Disney's um, Jungle Book and um, here we can see that uh, this photo in this photorealistic image everything in the jungle is created using computer graphics all the animals all the all the greenery all the trees um, entire environment in fact, other than the boy, there was no other real character in this entire film, right? So, um, the amount of photorealism that graphics can produce these days is mind-boggling. A very common use of computer graphics is of course to create a very nice looking computer games. I'm sure all of you have played at least some game. Uh, either on your computer or on a smartphone and I don't need to tell you about computer games. Graphics is um, used extensively for computer aided design. Here is an example from computer aided architectural design. Uh, but there are also applications to mechanical design, structural design, um, electronic design and so on. Graphics is used for scientific visualization. So here is a visualization of airflow on top of a Formula One car. Here we have more visualizations of uh, data returned from India's Chandrayaan satellite. Uh, you get a visualization of the surface of the moon. Uh, then we have a 3D reconstruction of um, the hip bone complex uh, using uh, from sliced image data, right? Um, graphics is also used for creating virtual reality where um, you know the synthetically rendered world or created world just uh, immerses your field of view or you can situate the synthetic elements in the real world and get augmented reality we will talk more about these things in a later uh, in, in, in a later lecture and um, uh, you have uh, other users of computer graphics in desktop publishing like when you want to edit uh, or lay out uh, brochures, uh, magazine pages, newspapers, um, then potentially everything you see on your browser is accelerated using some graphics library in the background. So YouTube, Flickr, anything that uses the HTML5 canvas all are using graphics algorithms. Graphics is used in computational photography, like this example here where the authors have used a set of photographs 
um, and uh, I need algorithm to replay, remove all the all the people from the photograph, so you get a clean image of the of the monument. Then graphics is used for generating uh, and creating all the user interfaces on all modern operating systems, uh, all smartphones, um, all touch tablets, everything uses computer graphics. So you can see that uh, you know touch interfaces were proposed by Ivan Sutherland, who happens to be like a visionary figure in computer graphics in 1962 and um, uh, futuristic ui interfaces have been uh, uh, envisioned in movies so here is an example from minority report and what we have today uh, is uh, somewhere in between um, you can uh, move ui elements by touch you can move ui elements by hand gestures and all of this is driven by neat graphics algorithms in the background and the list can go on. Graphics is used uh, for creating virtual worlds like Minecraft and Google Earth, for um, animating algorithms to help explain them better, like you can animate quicksort or um, uh, creation of heaps and trees. Um, graphics is used for typesetting and font design. So all the beautiful fonts that you see, including the one that is being used on this slide, uh, needs graphics. Um, graphics is used uh, to bring digital video to you. So HDTV and Blu-ray um, uh, have um, uh, use, uh, use algorithms uh, from computer graphics, uh, visualization for drug design, image and video search, and you can go on adding to this list. And I'm sure by now you have a fair idea of the kind of stuff that graphics can be used for. So now let us go back to our original question and try to answer what is computer graphics now that we have seen so many uses of um, the area. So if we really want to pin it down using a definition, then in short, we can say that CG is the art and science of using the computer to make images for various purposes. Uh, if you want a slightly detailed definition, you can say it is the study of methods, artistic, mathematical, algorithmic, and software. Um, like all these methods are software methods and systems which might be mechanical or electronic hardware to create, control and manipulate pictorial data on the computer. But really are these definitions necessary? If you ask me, I would tell you that, uh, you know, you should just go ahead and forget the definition. I mean, they, they don't really matter. But you should remember um, why you are here in this course, right? What made you come here and why are you listening to this lecture? Why are you listening to me? Uh, think about it. And as we go through the course, I want you to try and remember this and figure out how what we are learning uh, really takes you closer to achieving what you wanted to learn graphics uh, in the first place. For. Uh, if you want to have a discussion about this, feel free to ask me. Uh, just a brief note on the impact of computer graphics on the world around us. So we should have a context, uh, a historical context really uh, um, to figure out where does this field come from. So I would strongly encourage that you go and read this page on Wikipedia, which has a fairly, um, fairly uh, detailed description about the historical underpinnings of computer graphics. Uh, and just to list a few things that have happened because of advances in computer graphics. Obviously, you have got better movies, better visualization, better design, um, better uh, special effects, and all the better games, and all those things go without saying. But CG has directly influenced the development of better computer hardware. So you can think all your processors, uh, your you know, all your multiprocessors and think all the GPUs that you have and the sole reason for the very fast development in the field of GPUs, which are essentially graphics processing units, uh, is because there was a need to display more and more uh, graphics on the screen faster and faster. Uh, graphics has made many real-time algorithms better and it has made many more possible. 
So uh, I'm sure uh, graphics has uh, impacted uh, the need to transmit graphics across networks has impacted networking, the need to store and interchange graphics amongst large large teams has impacted file systems the need to simulate physical phenomena has given you better real time algorithms and of course uh, any any complex graphic systems is uh, doing a host of multi threading uh, on uh, on multi processors so it has led to advances in multi threading um, so overall it has made real time algorithms and systems better and uh, if you look at it from the point of view of uh, the fact that graphics has led to the development of uh, GPUs, graphics has enabled modern machine learning which would not be possible without GPUs and also some supervised machine learning algorithms require a lot of data which are increasingly being generated using uh, computer graphics algorithms. They are used to bootstrap these um, machine learning algorithms before they move on to real data. So that is all for today. Uh, thank you.